Hi everyone, Grey Power 60 here. So I haven't been on for a while. I've been kind of testing out different things and trying to come up with some fun ideas. And um, I'm not one for making tags. I don't usually make tags for my um, craft fair, but I was watching a couple of different videos and uh, came up with this idea because I wanted to make a box. I think one of them was, oh my gosh, let me see if I can remember some of them. There was um, Stampin' Up! People. Oh, sorry. Anyway, there was many that I watched making little boxes. Um, Posh Paper Lady was another one. Uh, Amber. Um, from Lyric Lover uh, 810. Oh, I've watched so many videos um, and people I'm not subscribed to. Just, I did a search and I came up with this cute little idea of making a box. And what I wanted, they had a lot of flip boxes. They had a lot of different kinds of boxes, but I wanted one that kind of tucked in. And so I came up with this little idea and this is the cute little tags that I put in. These um, little guys here are from Polka Doodles, and I had bought the rights to use it, and the angel policy is for that, that I can use them and I can uh, sell them at my craft fair. Now, there's been such a hoopla lately about copyright infringements and so on and so forth, so I'm almost tempted um, to uh, type a little something, not on here, but maybe on the bottom here of, um, you know, where I get my stamp information or products and so on. And that way I am not infringing on any copyrights. But according to the polka doodles, and the reason I bought these was because I can use them on my crafts to sell. And uh, anyway, so I wanted a small little box. I wanted a window in it. Um, and I wanted these little tags. Like I say, I don't usually make tags, but these are just little white tags. And I put a little blue ribbon on each and every one of them. And my box holds four cute little tags. So, let us tuck that back in here. Now I have gone through this process of designing it three or four times, trying to get the right measurements, trying to get exactly what I wanted, the size and so on, and how many. I don't want to fit more than four. And um, I was going to do little note cards, but people don't use note cards as much as they use tags. So I have these little tags and I decorated it with the ribbon. I won't be able to put that back on right now, probably. Um, and I'm not going to make very many of them for the craft fair because I am just not, I'm just not into tags at all. I have so many other projects on the go that, um, you know, I don't want to take up too much time doing things that I don't really want to sell or can sell. I mean, maybe I can. I don't know. I, I haven't tried uh, to sell tags this year or last year. And so the only thing I don't like is that it's a very flimsy. Now, I know they'll be thrown away later, but it's very flimsy. So I've made these two. And then I've made this box here. So I thought I'd show you how I made it. And it fits a three by three card or a, um, a gift tag, a three by three gift tag. And that's what I've been using. So let's get started on making them. Now I took some paper because I haven't been using this paper very much. 
Um, I've taken some paper from this Prism Magic. It's Recollections. Um, there's a lot of pages in here I haven't used. I may use later on. So, with all that said, let's get started on this little son of a gun. All right, so I have the measurements that I have come up with, and I, like I say, I have tested this so many times, I'm tired of, of trying to come up with it. Every time I made it a good one, I forgot the measurements, so I had to write them all down. So we're going to start with a piece of paper that is four and a half. I'm going to get rid of this one, save it for later, four and a half by eight. So let's cut that out and I need a new, there's somewhere in my stash, um, my blade. I need a new blade badly, badly, badly. Alrighty, now we're going to get out my, if I don't knock the camera over. There we go. Sorry about the lighting. I don't know why it's so dark. It's really strange. It's daytime. But I miss the light coming in from my window. Alrighty, so on the, the eight inch side, I'm going to score at half inch and at one inch and at four and a quarter and at four and three quarters. And then I'm going to turn it and I am going to score a half inch on this side, turn it around and score a half inch on this side. And that is all the scoring we need to do. So now I'm going to burnish all my score lines. All right, and that's what you should have. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this top corner. Now, normally I would indent there, but I want to do something different. So we're just going to cut that. All right, so that's the top part, and this is the part that folds up. Now, the next thing I want to do is cut the sides, the little tabs, and I'm going to just give them a little nick and do the same on this side. And just a little nick so it'll fit better. Okay, now for me, I like things to be uh, rounded. I like these. This is going to be closing and that's going to go inside. And I like it to have a rounded side. Now, if I tried to do it this way, it won't go in. So what I do is fold that flap in and then I can get my my flap that goes inside I get that there we go so now I have a little rounded edge on each side now I need to cut and we'll give it a little bit of a pokey on each side pokey is not that's a new term. It's called pokey. So I'm just giving it a little bit of there. So it should look like this. 
the next thing I want to do is make a hole in the center. And my hole that I'm using is approximately a two inch, a two inch hole so that I can put the acetate in. So basically I'm just making the hole and putting acetate in there. So let me bring that to the big shot and I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this lighting. See if there's any better. Alrighty, so there's my hole. Don't throw these away. These are always handy to use for decorations and so on. So there is my hole. The next thing I need is a piece of acetate. And I usually measure it. I'm going to cut this one. Now, it's hard to see. This one is two and a half. And I think I'll cut it the other way by two and three quarters. You can do two and a half, two and a half. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with that. I know you can't see the acetate, but in fact, it's here. Now what I do is I take my glue and I just go around the circle here and lay this down. Now what happens for me is that I get a little bit of glue on the inside, but what I try and do is use my bone folder to bring the glue out. And I always get a little bit on the inside, so you just wipe that off. That'll come right off. I don't have my wipe with me. And that is my acetate folder. Not folder, my window. And that's my little acetate window. Now what I'm going to do is just glue up my sides. These little sides here. We're going to glue these up. And we're going to glue them up into the back or bring the back up to to go into them is basically what I'm doing here. Hold that for a second. So as you can see, I've brought the back, what I consider the back up and glued those little tabs. The next thing I'm going to do is glue down the flaps on the front piece. I'm going to bring that up and have it match as best I can. Sorry about that. I had it out of focus. There we go. And then I'm going to fold this one over and get it to match flat on the bottom. Bring it in. And I'm going to use my bone folder to just kind of spread that glue a little bit and get that all nicely patted down. Now, you can take these tabs out if you want, but I just use them for extra fold in. And there we have our little window and it's, as you can see it's off center but I'm going to decorate this side so it shouldn't be too too bad so um, I can use different colored papers here let's see what I can use um, let's use this little piece here I should have had this already earlier um, I usually make it about one inch. So there's one. Let's do 
a couple of them while I have it out. Two. Because I can fit four tags in there quite comfortably. Actually, I can probably fit five, but for now we'll just do four. Alrighty, and then I want these to be a proc just short of three. I'm going to put it this way. Just short, maybe um, two um, and seven eighths, just to give me a little bit more space. So let's do a couple of those, get that out of the way. I usually try and use the flat side on this side here. Get it lined up. And again, you can save these little pieces for um, decorations and things like that that you might want to use it for. And one more. Just to get them all done so that I'll have them ready for when I want to do more. Okay, so we'll put those pieces aside. Put that away. I've already pre-cut this cardstock, which is just the regular 65 weight cardstock. And what I'm going to do is just add a little strip on here. Oops, <laughs> trying to get the top off. It's already off. Alrighty, we're going to put that on. It's going to flip open that way. So we're going to put it approximately here. And then I'm going to take one of my, let's use this cute little kitty cat, my polka doodles. I'm just going to add that on there. I was going to use dimensions, but if I'm going to be doing a lot of these, I wanted to, you know, have a fast way of doing it. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do, now that I've got that done, is get out my crop dial and put it on the larger setting to make a hole. And I kind of eyeball it to put a hole in there. So as you can see, now we have a cute little card and I'm going to put some ribbon on there. I'll use the white one for now. Ribbon's about, about nine inches. I may have to cut it down. So what I do is I just fold it in half, put them together. If they'll go together for me. Put them through the hole. open up the loop and pull them through. Now that's going to be a little bit long, but they may want it that long. So we'll leave it for now. So that is what I do to make my little cards. I fold the, the ribbon down, put it in, and there is my cute little package. All right, now let's decorate this little son of a gun. All right, so I don't want to spend a lot of time or money on this. So what I'm going to do is take a few pieces of ephemera that I have, and I'm just going to sort of set them up, kind of decorate them. I don't know whether I should put that down. Turn it over. That might be okay. Um, and as I said, I'm not putting a lot of thought into this. I'm just decorating them enough to make them look cute. This one here, I'm going to put a little ink, a little ink, a little glue on here, stick it underneath, and just have it come around. 
like that. And then I'm going to take some ribbon and we'll just put it like this. I'll put it around a couple of times. You could use jute, you can use all kinds of things. I'm just using ribbon for the purposes of the video. And I want it to be able to slide off pretty easily too. So let's see if we can make a bow. Isn't it funny how we have trouble making bows? Oh, this one wasn't too bad. Pull that in a little bit. Let's turn that around. Cut this one off. And there we have a little package that we can put about four, maybe five would fit in here, but four for sure of the little tags. So now we have these tags and these tags and these tags. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will um, try it and let me know how you do. I just wanted something to put the tags in that was different than just putting them in um, cellophane or clear bags or whatever. I wanted something cute um, that would be fun to open and um... anyway that is it. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.